Good Saturday evening. Thanks for logging on to WYTV.com. Meteorologist Craig Zybert here with you. As we go into the next 24 hours, a big difference from all that sunshine we saw out there on your Saturday. Another storm system working its way through here. We're going to see plenty of rain across the area. That develops overnight tonight into the first part of your day on Sunday. Then we'll be watching for an Arctic blast of cold air, bringing some of those coldest temperatures we have seen this season to start your Monday off. But as we look at your precipitation outlook for your week, Sunday, the rain and the snow showers will be around throughout the day. Those turn into some lake effect snow into Monday and those will taper off on Tuesday. But for the majority of your week this week, looking like a pretty quiet and even warm week across the area. So as we go into this evening, right now we're looking at I-80 and Route 46 in Austin Town, recording this around 8 p.m. Things are dry right now, but things will change in a big way as we go into the overnight hours. The other thing that you're going to notice as we go into the second half of your day on Sunday, going to be those wind chills. Take a look, by Sunday evening, wind chills will be dropping into the single digits. Monday morning, stepping out the door, some of those wind chill values will be below zero. They're gonna stay on the cold side with some blustery winds out here on your Monday. Your wind chills on Monday going to be below zero for the majority of the day. Going back towards tonight now, we're starting to watch some showers begin to work their way ahead of this cold front that's back towards the west. We could see a very small period of time tonight where some freezing drizzles, some freezing rain tries to mix in. There's a lot of dry air in place here, so not a lot of this precipitation is reaching the ground. However, by the time we get the air saturated, we'll be warm enough that I think most of us will see plenty of rain as we go into the overnight hours tonight. So this is how it plays out with your future cast. Tomorrow morning, plenty of showers. Look what happens to those temperatures though. We're in the low 30s Saturday evening. By Sunday morning, we'll be in the upper 30s near 40 degrees. We'll stay near 40 for the first part of the day and then you'll watch those temperatures begin to slide as the rain showers work their way out of here. Also noticing as we go through your Sunday afternoon, we'll see some clearing skies and these temperatures, they are going to skyrocket downward quickly as we go into your Sunday evening. That's when you notice those temperatures Air temperatures in the middle teens to start your go into your Sunday night into Monday morning. Then we'll be watching for that risk of some lake effect snow beginning to develop as we go into your Monday afternoon. So we're going to track that, especially as you go farther north towards the Cleveland area. Otherwise, just a very cold day, mix of sun and clouds on your Monday, watching those lake effect snow bands beginning to set up as we go into your Monday afternoon. Temperature is going to struggle to get into the low 20s on Monday as well. So tonight, 31 degrees, your overnight low will be early in the evening. Then we'll watch those temperatures rising. Slight chance of freezing rain early. Otherwise, the rain will develop overnight as those temperatures get above freezing. We'll start the day around 40 degrees tomorrow. Then those temperatures will fall through the afternoon as those winds begin to pick up as well. As you saw those wind chills really getting down into the single digits and the low single digits as we go into Monday morning. Monday afternoon, just some lake effect snow showers around. Temperatures struggling to get through the mid-20s. We struggle to get through the 20s again on Tuesday with some cold overnight lows back in the low teens. Then better weather for the second half of the weekend. Temperatures 38 on Wednesday. Second half of the week, I should say. Wednesday, 38. When Thursday, 37. Went back into Friday, we're back into the upper 30s again. So a pleasant second half of the week after we get through these storm systems here, the first part of your week. Next weekend, looking like a little stormy by the time we get to Saturday with highs back into the mid and upper 30s.